Country Facts Explorer. This is the Vasa, the most powerful warship in the Baltic, the pride of the Swedish Empire. Her construction cost a fortune. Her maiden voyage lasted 20 minutes. How did the ultimate triumph become a national disgrace? This is inadequate. The Polish have galleons, and I demand the Vasa be stronger than any of them. I need more cannons, significantly more, and spare no expense on the ornamentation. The king ordered 64 heavy bronze cannons, twice the usual armament. The master shipbuilder, Henrik Hybertson, knew this was a gamble. If we add the second deck, the hull is too narrow. It will not support the weight. We do not have enough room for the ballast. But the king's orders! I know. We will build it. And we will hope for the best. The balance was ruined. The ship became top-heavy, too tall, too narrow, and critically lacking the stabilizing weight ballast needed in the hull. Rising tension. Before sailing, Admiral Klaas Fleming decided to conduct a standard stability test. He quickly regretted it. Enough! Stop the test! If we continue, she will capsize right here at the quay. Rising tension. The results were clear. The ship was dangerously unstable. Admiral, we must inform the king. The king is in Prussia. He demands we sail immediately. Do you want to tell him no? I dare not. We sail on schedule. And so the day arrived. All of Stockholm, including foreign ambassadors, gathered to witness the marvel. It was a parade of national pride. They even allowed the crew's families on board for the celebratory departure. The Vasa moved majestically into the harbor. A salute was fired, and the gun ports were left open. A fatal oversight. Having traveled less than a mile, the first gust of wind hit the sails. Not a storm, just a breeze. But for the top heavy Vasa, it was enough. The ship heeled over and kept going. The lower gun ports hit the water. Water in the hold! The ports are flooding! The guns are breaking loose! Cut the sails! Save the ship! But it was too late. Water flooded the hold. Within minutes, the pride of Sweden was on her side. The journey was over. Around 50 souls were lost, right in the middle of Stockholm Harbor. The disaster was quickly hushed up, but the irony is that this failure became history's greatest find. The cold, brackish waters of the Baltic perfectly preserved the hull. In 1961, after 333 years, the Vasa saw the light of day once more. Today, the Vasa isn't a symbol of military might. It's Scandinavia's most visited museum, a unique time capsule and a powerful reminder that arrogance and ignoring the laws of physics can sink even the grandest of projects. Subscribe to Country Facts Explorer for more incredible stories that shaped our world.